This is a credit card. And this is the latest model of the credit card sized computer. The Raspberry Pi 4. But how exactly does it differ from the previous generation? The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Let's find out. Let us start with some core specs first. The Raspberry Pi 4 is rocking a quad-core 1.5 GHz CPU, while the Raspberry Pi 3, a slightly less powerful quad-core 1.4 GHz CPU. The Raspberry Pi 4 is available in three variants of DDR4 RAM, 1 GB, 2 GB and 4 GB. The previous model has a simpler product lineup with only a GB DDR2 model in production. But how do they actually compare in performance? Let us check the metrics. But before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notified each time we post a video. For the benchmarks, the website Tom's Hardware tested out the 4GB Raspberry Pi 4 versus the 1GB Raspberry Pi 3B+. On the CPU side, the Pi 4 shows a considerable 60% increase in performance when using Sysbench. On the graphics side, Open Arena is used, which runs a game similar to Quake Free Arena and measures the FPS. The Pi 4 scored about 42 frames per second as compared to the 3's 28 frames per second. That is a gain of 14 frames per second. To test out both the CPU and the RAM, file compression serves as a better benchmark. Compressing a file in multi-threaded mode, the Raspberry Pi 4 proves to be around 37% faster than its older sibling. However, in single-threaded mode, the new Raspberry Pi completely destroys the previous model, finishing the task in 60% less time than the Raspberry Pi 3B+. So it's clear that the Raspberry Pi 4 takes performance up a notch as compared to the Raspberry Pi 3B+. But what about general connectivity? Connectivity-wise, the upgrade is definitely noticeable. The fourth generation replaces two of the available four USB ports by USB 3.0. And that LAN port? It is no longer restricted by USB interface. Simply put, you get more bandwidth on the Raspberry Pi 4. A full gigabit of it. On the video end, the new Raspberry Pi 4 replaces the old full-size HDMI port by two micro HDMI ports. What this means is that the new Raspberry Pi can support dual displays and can run at 4K at 60fps instead of the previous 1080p 30fps. That is twice the resolution at twice the frame rate. But yes, you will have to grab those micro HDMI to HDMI connectors to use your old HDMI cables. Now, better comes at a higher power requirement. While the 3B Plus could work with 5 volts 2 amperes, the 4th generation requires 5 volts 3 amperes. And yes, the old micro USB port gets an upgrade as well. You can now charge with USB Type C. And then finally, for the micro SD, well, for that too, the fourth generation read and write speeds are faster. So which one should you get? While the Raspberry Pi 4 is certainly the faster, more upgraded model, it has its own issues, ranging from Wi-Fi, screen resolution, heating issues, etc, etc. If you need a more stable solution for your project and you won't be using the Raspbian interface as much, go with the Freebie Plus. However, if you plan on tinkering with latest and greatest projects, the Raspberry Pi 4 is the obvious choice. Let us know which one you would choose and why in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and as always guys, keep dialing pixels.